Our existence, you see, is something that is spontaneous. The Chinese word for nature, zhang, means that which happens of itself. Your hair grows by itself. Your heart beats by itself. You breathe pretty much by itself. You don't have voluntary control over these things. So we say it happens spontaneously. So when you go to sleep and you try to go to sleep, you interfere with the spontaneous process of going to sleep. Try to breathe, you know, real hard. And you find you get balled up in your breathing. You've got to let go and let it happen. Because if you don't, you're going to be all clutched up. You're going to be constantly trying to do what can happen healthily only. Great anxiety, but if we don't interfere, it won't happen. That's the rhythm that you know is not a problem. But the basis of it all is this. If we say, you must survive, or I must survive, life is earnest, and I've got to go on. Then your life is a drag and not a gain. Now, it's my contention, my personal opinion, this is my basic metaphysical axiom, let me put it that way, that the existence of the physical universe is basically a play. There is no necessity for it whatsoever. It isn't going. That is to say, it doesn't have some destination. In music, one doesn't make the end of a composition. If that were so, the best conductors would be those who play fastest. People go to the concert just to hear one crashing chord, because that's the end. Same way in dancing. You don't aim at a particular spot in the room, and that's where you should arrive. The whole point of the dancing.